How to read your dog's body language. Understanding dog communication. Can you read your dog's body language? Do you know what your dog is trying to say? Knowing how to read your dog's body language is key to understanding your dog. Because dogs are nonverbal, their body language speaks for them. Vocalization takes second place to a dog's body language. By interpreting body language, you can gauge your dog's attitude and predict her next move. You can tell if she is comfortable or uncomfortable with a certain situation. After learning these basic types of dog body language, spend some time observing dogs interacting with people and other animals in various situations. With practice, you will begin to see the subtleties of the dog's body language. When two animals interact, their body language is almost like a conversation. It may seem like a kind of dance. Much of the same can be seen between a human and a dog. Once you understand your dog's body language, you can do more than just help you communicate with your dog. Reading your dog's body language can help protect you and the dog from dangerous situations. Without a sound, your dog can tell you that she feels a threat. Also, when you watch your dog interact with another dog, you can watch their body language to see when harmless play is turning into dog fighting. Besides, interpreting body language can help as well with dog training and identification of problems in habitual behavior. Here are some basic guidelines for reading your dog's body language and interpreting her emotional state. 01 of 08. I'm sure. The confident dog stands tall and tall with her head held high, ears perked up, and eyes bright. Her mouth may be slightly open, but she is relaxed. Its tail can be swayed slightly, coiled loosely, or hang in a relaxed position. She is friendly, non-threatening, and at ease with her surroundings. 02 of 08. Happy. A happy dog will show the same signs as a confident dog. In addition, she will usually tuck her tail and sometimes keep her mouth open or even hold it lightly. She seems even friendlier and more contented than the confident dog, with no sign of anxiety. 03 of 08. Alive? A lively dog is happy and cheerful. Her ears are up, her eyes are bright, and her tail rushes. She can jump and run with joy. Often, one living dog will display the arc of the game front legs stretched forward, head straight forward, back up into the air and possibly wiggling. This is surely an invitation to play. 04 of 08. Submissive. A submissive dog keeps its head down, ears flat and eyes averted. Her tail is low and may wag a bit, but is not docked. She can roll over on her back and expose her belly. A submissive dog may also squeeze or lick the dog or other person to further display passive intent. Sometimes, she will sniff the ground or otherwise divert her attention to show that she doesn't want to cause trouble. A submissive dog is soft, gentle and non-threatening. 05 of 08 Worried An anxious dog may act somewhat submissive, but often holds her ears partially back and her neck stretched. She stands in a very tense posture and sometimes shocks. Often, an anxious dog yawns and or licks her lips. She may also cry or complain. Its tail is low and can be hidden. She can show the whites of her eyes, something called whale eye. A stressed dog may react to the stimulus and may become fearful or even aggressive. If you are familiar with the dog, you can try to turn its attention to something more pleasant. However, you have to be careful. Do not provoke him or try to calm him down. 06 of 08. Scary. A scary dog combines subdued and anxious attitudes with more extreme signals. It stays tense but is very low to the ground. Her ears are back and her eyes are narrowed and averted. Her tail is between her legs and she usually shakes. A scary dog, often smelling or wheezing, can even bare her teeth in defense. She may even urinate or pass out. A fearful dog can become aggressive quickly if she feels threatened. Do not try to calm the anxious dog, but calmly remove yourself from the situation. If you are the owner, be sure and firm, but do not comfort or punish your dog. 
try to move it to a less threatening and more familiar place. 07 of 08. Dominant. A dog that shows dominance will try to assert itself over other dogs and sometimes people. It stands tall and secure and can roll forward a bit. Her eyes are wide and she makes direct eye contact with the dog or the other person. Her ears are up and alert, and the hair on her back can stand on edge. She can cry with humor. Her demeanor seems less friendly and perhaps threatening. If the behavior is directed at a presenting dog, there is little concern. If the other dog also tries to be dominant, a fight may break out. A dog that directs dominant behavior toward people can pose a serious threat. Avoid eye contact and slowly try to walk away. If your dog exhibits this behavior towards people, behavior modification is necessary. 08 of 08. Aggression. An aggressive dog, it goes beyond dominance. All feet are firmly planted on the ground in a territorial manner, and she can be pushed forward. Her ears are folded back, her head is straightforward, and her eyes are narrow but sharp. Its tail is straight, held high, and may even be docked walking. She closes her teeth, makes her jaw laugh, and low or jumps threateningly. The hair on her back stands on edge. If you are around a dog showing these signs, it is very important to carefully walk away. Do not run. Do not make eye contact with the dog. Don't show fear. Slowly make your way back to safety. If your dog becomes aggressive, Seek help from a professional dog trainer to learn the proper way to correct the behavior. Note, dogs with aggressive behavior should never be used for breeding.